okay, it's gonna be longer. And this is your Akia, is that what you say, gallery? Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's my studio in my studio. meat factory. I'm here like 14 years. I came like um, something uh, around 2008. And uh, we adapted the place ourselves with a bunch of guys. And uh, since then I'm painting here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, and uh, this is where you usually like um, work. Though. Yeah, this is my main wall. That's that's uh, where I work. Uh, this is like usually I paint with uh, acrylics and brush, and then I'm using the airbrush to paint over it the lines and the shading. Mm -hmm. This is my style. What's an and airbrush? Airbrush. It's uh, like uh, this this hand pistol, which uh, you you pour the um color into it this and um, then you can paint with it uh, in my uh, art i have uh, i have uh, two main themes uh, which i'm thinking of when i'm painting and doing my art which is like i work a lot with uh, uh, with my special alphabet i create it and i uh, put it on the on the pictures or canvases i i put it in uh, lines sometimes with a lot of paint uh, dripping, uh, which is like um, uh, changing the the layers, uh, and uh, also uh, I sometimes I um, put a very thick color, which makes kind of a relief, and then I scratch into it, and uh, then you can see the background. So that's another. Uh, uh, it's another method I am using when I'm using the writing. Also, I, I made a series of uh, uh, pictures and canvases. I was doing uh, concentric circles. And then I was uh, writing very small uh, of the letters and text into it. So uh, I was kind of like coding the, the, the text and uh, some issues into the canvases. And also, it was good. It was kind of an analogy to, uh, like, uh, uh, to like vinyl or CD or hard disk. Mm -hmm. You also have like uh, this. Everything is written into the on the concentric circles on the round, so uh, you can stuff a lot of information into that. So that's what I like. Also, I created this alphabet uh, after. Uh, I was visiting uh, Brazil, uh, Sao Paulo. Uh, there is uh, some kind of graffiti subculture called Pichasao and they are using this uh, also very special alphabet which comes out of uh, German, uh, uh, this, uh, how to say, runes? runes? How, how do you say the, this? Runes? Yeah, yes, the yes, very, yes. very old. Yes, also from the um, um, heavy metal logos of the bands you know like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so like <laughs> yes. twisted so all this compilation they are using uh, and they created a special alphabet and i was uh, like checking this sketching and uh, then when i came came back i i was doing a lot of uh, graphic design so i created a font uh, based on this so you you could you could use it on the computer and right uh, right uh, on the keyboard with this and then like five years later i started uh, with using it um, into my own art also it was the year 2010 when i started to focus on the uh, atelier work and uh, exhibiting like in the galleries and started uh, my way through the this segment and uh, and uh, went into the galleries and stuff so that's uh, one layer of my work is the, is the alphabet and the other one is a very detailed uh, pictures or views uh, to the to the different parts of the cities and I'm creating some cityscapes and some part of it I'm using like real buildings uh, and some some of it I, I just make out from my mind to uh, I'm more or less on some parts of the canvas I'm freestyling and uh, 
doing uh, something which directly is born in my head, you know. <laughs> Are you yes. said it, it kind of comes comes from your mind, of course, but it, but do you know like you knew exactly that it will be three stars here and two hands, and do you know? Yes, yes. Actually, I, I, I work with this, uh, I do it uh, like kind of collage. Uh, first, I'm like uh, searching for some uh, some buildings or monuments or some some uh, photos of the city. I'm big fan of architecture and uh, like I'm watching uh, the, the, the trends and styles or um, I'm kind of uh, into this and uh, usually I'm like uh, searching in some publications or in uh, I also use my own photos from traveling or uh, then for sure I'm like uh, getting some uh, photos of the buildings and stuff uh, online and then I do some basic collage um, uh, like on the format of, uh, of the canvas I mean digital collage and then uh, I just start to paint with uh, some points uh, which I already know what's gonna be there and uh, the rest is like just uh, white parts on the collage and uh, then I uh, continue directly on the canvas or on the wall with filling this space for, for, for example this uh, um, I, I just have like uh, this reference pictures of the of, of the hands or of the statue and then like the rest I just make up from my mind you know.